I believe you. Good. <laughs> okay, so we're good. We're good. Uh, yeah, we're ready to start the run. So if you could uh, give us a countdown, I can start. Okay. Uh, three, two, one, go. <laughs> Right, so. Okay. So, this game is fairly non stop, so there's very few quiet moments in this game. So. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try and explain as best as I can what I'm doing. Um, but. I might go quiet if I need to, like, focus a little bit. Um. Most of what I'm going to be doing, um, which you'll see me doing now, is just jumping and turning my mouse. Um, basically bunny hopping, but um, where it changes from Quake 1, where you can just um, press the strafe button, you have to hold the forward button at the same time. And... Okay. So... Jump over those lasers. I've got to kill this guy, otherwise these lasers won't disappear. Please don't kill me. Uh, stun that guy so he doesn't shoot me. There's a lot of, um, you'll see later. Uh, at the moment I'm using the machine gun for this, but later you'll see me use a super shotgun for this. Um, what I'm doing to keep the, the, the strog out of my way is to basically shoot them and it stops them in place. On easy difficulty, which is what I'm playing, it will stun them every single time. On the higher difficulties, sometimes it doesn't, so... That's fairly useful. I need that. And that's the first unit. Nice. So, the beginning of this next one, I'm going to go for a, uh, the super shotgun and try and grenade jump out. This next unit, there's a lot of grenade jumps, so managing my health is pretty important. Uh, oh, come on. Okay, that didn't press. All right. This is the first one. And we didn't get high enough. Okay, we'll try again. Okay, there we go. Nice. Right, so ideally, um, by the time I get out of uh, the next room, I want to be on 80 health and 50, 60, 70. Mm, I'll be slightly low, but should be okay. So 60, oh dear. Okay, I'll have to go back for that health then. <laughs> Gotta grab that. I should be okay for health. So, let's get rid of these guys. Okay. And this is dangerous. I wouldn't, tr don't try this at home. <laughs> I think grenade jumping in real life is definitely not advisable. Well, that, well, that grenade jumping in real life might be advisable. Never with quad damage, though. <laughs> right. So. Please, thank you. Oh, oh you oh. killed yourself. <laughs> Oops. Okay. We'll try that again. I might have to go for a, an extra bit of health if I haven't got enough. Oh, I didn't pick these up. No, oh, that's two. Oops. Okay. Don't mind this. Right, there we go. <laughs> Gone. Right. Need these and. I am gonna go for that extra little bit of health because I'm. It's kind of tight to make. Come on. Oh, stop. I saw some hacking. <laughs> yeah, spliced. Never <laughs> <laughs> sold legit. So throughout this section of the um, game, being on for me at least, I believe, um, being on low health is fairly normal. Um, it just makes some bits a little bit risky. Like, I hope I don't get tagged by, uh, th this guy coming up. Okay. So when you do the grenade jumps, are you shooting it to help with the timing? Um, shooting the blaster helps time it, because the grenade will go off on the fourth shot. Uh... Another thing you'll notice me doing is when now that I've got the super shotgun, I use it to move um, uh, Strog out of the way. What I do is I crouch, look up, and then shoot them. And what that does is the knockback throws the enemy upwards and backwards. Um, it just helps move them out of the way. 
and and it's also pretty powerful. So, oops. Oh dear. Okay. Oh no, lasers. Yeah, there's a couple of occasions where it may look like I am actually hitting the lasers, but I'm just about not. Oh yeah, and you're gonna hear the computer say that a lot. Oh, come on. Yeah, come on, go faster. Man. Come on. Go faster. This isn't fast enough. Yeah. So, hopefully this next bit goes well, and hopefully I don't have to reload it too many times. Uh, oh, I need to be down here, actually. Don't block me. Don't block me. Right. Okay, that worked. Over, over. Right, so... So the next area, th um, the positioning of the, oh, I didn't mean to activate that so early. Never mind, we'll just have to deal with that. Um, so the positioning of the enemies might look a little strange. That's because technically we've entered this level backwards. Um, by using those barrels to jump up to that ledge, we've entered the level backwards. So it's much, much quicker to get the key card that we need for the next area. Uh, but actually, we don't need to use it yet. There's one other thing from this area that we need, and we need a... Uh, we got the security key, so we need the pyramid key now. And we're going to get it from this next area. Turn on the power shield, because that's very much helpful. Or very helpful, very much, indeed. So. This level's heavy use of the chain gun, just basically mow everything down. Well, I say everything, mow anything that's in my way down. And ammo management through this next bit, especially with bullets, is uh, slightly more important. Do you have time for a donation? Uh, sure, go ahead. Uh, well, earlier, Murtag typed in chat, uh, donate £10 and I'll dab, and we have a £10 foundation from Erexus that says dab money. Okay, fine. Thank you, Murtag. I, I hope it was <laughs> worth it. <laughs> oh. I'm not sure. Maybe I should have said it higher. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about that now. I feel dirty. I would accept my arms are busy right now. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe at the end of this unit. So... So what I've done there is I, I shot the, I moved the thing downwards so that it was between me and the lift. Um, as I'm standing on him, it collides with the lift and it, because the lift can't move up any further, it just moves back down again. Right, so, um, what I suppose was uh, intended as a mini boss is going to take me about four seconds here, because quad damage is, well, powerful. And we're done. That was good. <laughs> yep. Uh, I think this is a quake specific question in the chat, but Bath Three says what's your sink in strength? Uh you might have to explain that one to me. <laughs> yeah, I saw that and I was like, I don't know what you mean. Yeah, I don't, I don't I'm not one hundred percent sure, sorry. <laughs> um If it's like technical numbers, I don't know because I just um, do whatever feels comfortable when it comes to strafing. Come on, let me out of there. Oh, okay. I appreciate the boost, but it was in the wrong direction. Oh, I need something. Ah, oh, right, okay, this is where I needed the quad damage, so I'm gonna have to go the long way. Oops. Yeah, so this is um, about, uh, like, this is quite a severe time loss due to um, accidentally using that quad damage earlier. I'm just going to have to, this is the intended way of doing this area. 
Unfortunately, there's not any other way of doing it without that quad, but it shouldn't take too long to get around this. How would we have managed to save time if we'd got the quad? Uh, well, there's a fan down there that I've just gone over. Get out of my way. Um, that Underneath that bridge is a fan, and you can quad damage and shoot a rocket at the floor, and it boosts you up um, into this area, and it cuts off that entire area that I just did, and also it means these three guys don't spawn. Oh, no. <sighs> Never mind. Ah. Right, and so that rocket won't destroy the fan unless for that quad damage. Well, it doesn't destroy the fan. You just fly through the oh, fan. Oh, sorry, yeah. It's, a, it's not really a fan. Sorry, yeah. that was explained badly. It, this is a... Hang on. This is a little bit finicky, this one. There you go. Okay. So, that saves a bit of time. Um, It wouldn't have been a case of destroying... Hang on, I need to save it. Oh, I think God. I misremembered oh. what you said. You said you launched up through the rocket. Uh, the rocket. No, you uh, you use the rocket to launch up. There's a gap underneath that um, bridge, which is what you would fly up through. Uh, you have to quad rocket in order to get up it, uh, and it and it cuts off that bit where I said we were going the long way. Yeah. It cuts off that entire bit, um, but unfortunately, because I'm because I only play this game semi fast, as I said at the beginning. Uh, that turned out to not be possible because I'm a fool. Looks pretty quick to me. Well. Now, this has been giving me trouble. Get out of my way. I need to shoot these things. Oh, move. Thank you. Now I need this. It's not a cheat item. But it is necessary. Well, not necessary, but it's helpful to save time, given that's why I'm here. Whether I'm doing a good job of it or not. Being invulnerable is always useful. Mm. Right, now I think I have everything I need here. Yeah. Oh, I got boosted the wrong way, okay. So through this next bit, there's gonna be a section as I get to the bridge above lava where it shakes the, okay. Where it shakes the camera about. Um, I want to be careful jumping through here because if it decides to shake me left or right, it could throw me in the lava. It can also throw me forward into that lava, which has happened to me before. Not very often, but it does happen. I don't know why I do that. It's completely unnecessary, but it's just something I do out of habit. Right. Right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. There we go. That's not like the intended way to get through there. Um, no, that's not the intended way to get through there. The intended way is you would go up the stairs that are in front of the door and hit a button that disables those lasers. But I don't have time for that because I'm already behind. I don't. I don't have time for buttons. Like this button. Oh. Uh -oh. oh come on. There we go. Okay. I hit the button anyway, but <laughs> the idea is is to jump over that. Pick up cells because I'm going to need as many cells as I can possibly get later. Are you using the recoil off the shotgun there? Is that right? Sorry. Is it like recoil off the shotgun that you're using here? To to, to move. Launch yourself. Uh, to, no, I'm using the rocket launcher to right, yeah. launch myself upwards. I can't tell what weapons are which. Okay. Uh, it shows at the bottom what weapon I'm using, and it also shows the ammo. Okay. I disabled the um, the weapon display because it's just annoying. I need the rocket launcher for this next bit. I don't have time for any jumping puzzles. I'm just going to jump right over it. Right, so... Coming up's the power plant, and the idea is to basically we want to destroy the reactor, which is their main source, of, which is the main source of power for um, strong. However, I believe they've had a rough enough ride already, so I'm not going to do that. Basically, even though it is. Um, required 
to get into the next area, but I'm, I'm still not going to do it because I believe I believe they've suffered enough because I, I, without power, they can't use computers. Without computers, they can't access the internet. And who would watch YouTube without? Oh dear. <laughs> right. I'm rambling. I should stop. Right. Okay, as long as you're going fast, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. It's just there might be some people in the way here. Some people in yeah. the way here. One or two. Come on. Right. So here, this is what you're going to see what I mean by flying. So we're going to use this. Pretty big weapon. Biggest in the game. And... Ah, it gets us up to here. Oh, nice. So, what just happened there is there's a trigger above that door. Um, I can't re remember off the top of my head why it's there, but there's a trigger above there that causes the um, the door to open before it should. Because what's supposed to open that door is us destroying the reactor. Um, and like I said, I don't want to do that, so I'd have to use that other trigger to open the door. Also, destroying the reactor takes a very long time because there's two areas on the left and right side that you need to go through in order to... Um, you have to turn off the coolant pumps and then you have to... Uh, yeah, you have to activate the coolant pumps and then activate the waste pumps and that causes the reactor to destroy itself, yada yada yada, and then it opens the door. But like I say, I'm behind and I don't have time for that. So, um, anyone who knows me knows this is, this unit here is my most despised unit. Um, this, uh, I usually split it into two halves because there's two different reasons for it. This half um, is because thin hallways and a lot of strong. And you'll see that later, what I mean. Um, so I'm just going to grab this. And you'll see me... Oh, God. Right, he's in the worst spot. So these, um... They're actually my comrades. These, um... Uh, Human-looking guys. They are my friends. But... Um... I'm shooting them anyway. Uh, the main reason is, is because... They, they, will, they have a chance to get in my way later. So I'm getting rid of them now while they're not a problem. Uh, it's just on the way back. Oh god, okay. Close. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, <clears throat> it's just on my way back. They might get in my way. So I'm going to try this. Uh, shout outs to Sleeper Johns for showing me this. That's actually, that's a little bit more difficult than I made it look. And I'm glad it worked here because I was fully expecting it. I was fully expecting that not to work. It worked in every single one of my practice runs, but that doesn't mean anything. Well, it did work. So. Oh, yeah, it did work, so yay. 100% of the time. <laughs> Most of the time it works 100% of the time. Yeah. Right, so I'm a little low on armor and health, so I'm going to grab those. And now, the second half. And there's one particular room in this area that I dislike, and it's coming up shortly. <coughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this turbine to throw me up, hit this keyboard, go back down. Attack him, attack him. Come on. I'm going to grab an extra quad damage here just in case I need it. Um, doing, the, doing it the way I'm going to do it. Hang on, I just have to focus for this. The main reason I despise this room is because of these guys here. These guys are the most annoying things because they're always in the way. Yeah, he like completely denies you on your first try. Yeah, exactly. And that's why I dislike them. And that's why I dislike that room as well. Because there's three of them in there. Yeah, is that movement oh. just RNG? Um, not completely. It's somewhat impacted. Oh, I don't know what happened there. It's somewhat impacted by where you are, but for whatever reason, one of the annoying things about the AI in this game is they'll try and run towards you, but they'll run in a zigzag. So, predicting where they're going to go, um, at least for me. Oh dear, come on. 
is a little bit more difficult than I would like it to be. So here's another skip. Ignore the error messages, I'm not hacking. So basically the idea of this area is, as you just said, to destroy the central computer. And the way you do that is these valves, there's two of these. Um, you need to go into each side of the, uh, go into each side of this area. There's one on each side. And what that does is it opens up a door which allows you to get into that room that I went up to the window of. By shooting the rockets through there, you can just destroy the CPU without ever doing that. So now, let's hope this goes well. If I fall in the water, it's not good, but not like disastrous. It slows me down a bit. Or that happens. So, I'm going to use this opportunity to get a bit of ammo. And cells, because I'm going to need them late. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, God. Okay, I'm going to have to leave them. <laughs> That's, um, I can, but there's an airstrike going on, so I really do not want to be out there. As in, I will die if I'm out there. So that's why hiding under that door, crouching under that door specifically, there's a d there's a tiny little area where you're completely safe from it. If you're anywhere else, you'll get hit by it. So now this area, this is the the palace. This has some awkward bits. Don't kill me. Thank you. Um, this is also where. Um, one of, at least for me, the most dangerous parts of the run are. Um, there is another way of doing it which uses a quad damage, but I don't want to do that because it feels slower, and I'm, alre I'm already behind as it is, so... I'm gonna go for the dangerous route, which given the way this run's gone, I don't know if that's a good idea, but I'm gonna do it anyway, whether it's a good idea or not, so... We don't have time for slow routes. Oh, no. No, no. So... If I get in here quick enough, just because it saves time getting him out of the way, because otherwise I have to wait for him to get down the stairs, and that's just a pain. Oh god. So, this bit. Oh dear. I accidentally woke that guy up. Oh dear. That's not right. Oh god, I'm in the wrong place. I'm just going to have to go from here then, because I'm an idiot and I don't save enough. Uh, basically, the I, I, I should have pointed this out earlier, but I'm not actually using the original Quake 2 engine. I'm using a port of it called um, Q2 Pro. Funny, funny that I should be using a, a game with the word Pro in it. Um, but... It's technically a multiplayer port, so the single player saving is a little bit finicky in that there's certain places in the run where if you die and reload the entering save, you'll actually spawn in the wrong place and that's not allowed. So it would invalidate the run if you continued doing that. So we'll just have to redo this, it's not that long. Oh god. Everything okay. Wait, come on. Now, right, I'll try not to wake this guy up. There we go. Oh, I know why I got killed by that guy now. Uh, at some point, my power shield turned off. I guess I ran out of cells at some point and didn't notice, and my power shield turned off, and then that really is not going to help. You I had to skip some cells, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, that's right. So. Right. Oh. Okay. I was I was hoping to use that to jump up the um, elevator, but uh, it didn't fire quick enough, and the elevator was already moving. So then I bailed from it, and then it fired. Go figure. So we need this CD. We already have the data spinner. So now we need to go back into that room, uh, that main room, the throne room. Or not throne room, whatever. Um, back into this main room, 
and reprogram the data spinner so it will shut down the communication laser. Uh, this is a dangerous part of the run, and you'll see why in a sec. So I'm going to save, desave here, and I need to get this guy out of the way. So I can get to that, get to this, hit this, drop this, drop it, pick this up, jump up here. And I was on full health and full armor earlier. I am now very low on everything, so hopefully I don't get killed by that guy. Okay, they're attacking each other, that's perfect. Don't hit me, please, thank you. I'm actually worryingly low on health because there is a bit uh, later that could kill me if my health is too low, so I'm gonna have to keep my eye open for any extra health I might see. I don't think there is actually is any around here, or at least not that I can remember being here. So I have to wait here until I hear that, because otherwise the shields will not be gone. And I need to get by him, don't kill me, thank you. Right, okay, we're good. And now we're going into the final level. There's a good section there. Are you coming up on time soon? Uh, soon, yeah. Um, this run's gonna take a little bit longer because I'm gonna be visiting the uh, the ending room anyway. Um, are you making that part of the run, or are you making it separately after? Um, oh, I can do it separately at, at the end, yeah. 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 Okay, we'll do that. So, there is a there is a lift um, at the end of this particular bit. If I'm quick enough, I can get to it before it goes up. It might happen. It might happen. Ah, just about. Nice. Don't get caught by these lasers, good. Hit this button. Jump over, please. Hit this button. And now we're in the final area. No, so, okay. this is... When you're ready. Yeah, we'll do. Um... I want to call this guy a boss because he is the last boss, although he's not really much of a boss. Not when you've got a chain gun with quad damage on it. So that's the first phase. It's technically two phase, so that's the first phase. Um, and here's the second phase. And he's dead. Nice. So now we go in here and time. <sighs> oh, I need Great, water. Well done. Great. Your final time was 27 minutes and two seconds. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Is that okay? um, well, when we t when we timed this normally, uh, there were a few times where I had to avoid, or rather, failed to do skips. I had to go the long way around, so that will have lost me a lot of time. Um, also, when normally timing this, you know those areas where it looks down on the map at the end of each unit. Uh, those t those that bit section is not timed. The timers pause during those sections normally when timing with IGT, which is what we normally um, time this with. But that's a um, actually my in-game time is here, so timing it with IGT was 25:56, which again is pr um, a little bit slow, but that's yeah. better than I expected it to go for a marathon run. You got a bad death towards the end, had to do a couple of yeah stats. yeah and that yeah. could have been remedied if i just remembered to save which is a thing i have a real problem with in this game yeah so um where did i last save okay right we're gonna go visit the ending room which means i need to defeat the boss again if you want to if you want to call him a boss as we know about five seconds oh okay um so That's thanks a lot for donating this for donation center yep Hope it's worth it. Do exclamation part donate to find a donation link. If you follow there, click on WAS 2020 campaign and you can see the list of all the donation centers. Right, so there's these buttons. You hit this button and it opens up the hatch on the opposite side of the room. Now, down here, there's this broken wall at the back of the room. Um, you have to have defeated the boss in order to get here, but now we have a secret credits room with all the creators of the game. John Carmack, John Jackson. For some reason, these don't have photos and I'm not entirely sure why. Maybe it's because they did the art and they just got bored. Programmers and some of these do strange things. So you notice this one looks a little weird. Um, this one plays music. This one, lovely. This one just doesn't want to be here. And so 
there is more to this, and I say secret because you have to activate, I believe you have to activate all of these, either that or it's just this last one. But down here, there is a pool party. So yeah, um, also my friends are here, but um, this station is, the, the actual story is once you've um, beaten the boss, this station on this asteroid explodes. So I'm just gonna spare these guys and then we're gonna leave, kind of leave. Come on, <laughs> this is awkward Speed to get out. Foiled yeah. by a pool of water. Foil, foiled by water, yeah. That's a little bit awkward to get out of if you, um, if you hit it wrong. Um, but then kindly, or, oops, you have to hit this first. So what is, what would normally happen is you'd defeat, um, uh, the boss and then hit this. Now, this particular port of Quake doesn't have any code for cinematics, but what would happen is the escape pod that I just went into would, um, launch out. You'd see the... Um, the asteroid explode. You'd land on another hunk of rock, and that's the beginning of the reckoning, which is the first mission pack for this game. But I don't run that. So, but yeah, that's Quake Two. Um, not quite as bad as I expected it to be, but yeah. still, it was all right. It was Good. all right for a marathon run. So, yeah. Thanks right. so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Okay, thank you very much, Bruno. And up next, we have the Spyro Ignite Trilogy Expedition.